Hi friends, thanks for watching my videos. As you know, my name is Alex, short for Royal Alexandra Hospital. In a previous video, I told you how I've been waiting for over 20 years to receive funding to replace my largest building, the place where I care for the majority of my patients. Well, guess what? No newsflash, I'm still waiting. Today, I'm going to share with you some of my DIY hospital tips. So if you're a hospital that's hanging on by a thread, not to worry. These tips will help you make do even though you desperately need to be funded. Okay, DIY hospital tip number one. If you have an aged out building that is no longer an appropriate setting for acute care delivery, here's my tip. Keep using it, even if it's used to care for children and seniors. Kids will think it's kind of cool that their hospital is almost as old as the dinosaurs. And let's face it, seniors can deal with it. When is the last time you heard grandma or grandpa complain about anything? DIY hospital tip number two. People always ask me, Alex, you've experienced multiple floods, you've had electrical fires, and you've shut down units because of infection outbreaks. What do you do when that happens? Well, here's my tip, not by choice. Shutter your buildings, because let's face it, they no longer meet the minimum standards required for patient care. Simple, right? DIY hospital tip number three. If you urgently need 800 beds and the space to fit them, here's my tip. Use the space you have. Even though it poses an unacceptable risk of infection, put five beds into a four-bed room or move a stretcher in front of the only sink. And there's also the hallway. We have them for a reason, right? And for my final DIY hospital tip, stay positive. Because no matter how run down you might look and feel, you're still a hospital and very sick people depend on you. You've got to get funded eventually, right? The government has to fund me eventually, right? Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. Remember, if I get funded, patients win.